day, lords, and ladies, welcome back to Jerome Squad Me Connors Night. Now we've done most things we need to do. In hindsight, I sort of probably have picked up um, this upgrade sooner, which is the SOP partnership, which gives us 10% discount. It, which isn't a lot, but it was saved money in the long run, to be honest. Um, besides that, the only thing else we could do would be to buy some materials. But baseline stuff isn't really doing it for me these days. Um, so let's recycle some more high-end stuff to see if we can actually get anything. Because for a 50% chance, it really doesn't seem to hold a lot of the time. Um, which is frustrating. I can make another one of those. Yeah. We can't craft, we can make some more gloves, but it's not really worth it. Can't make any more weapons. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much done with what we can do. Studio is done. Marketing is relatively done. Mech combo is really nice, but having squad health I prefer. Okay. So we got three chat we got five chapters to the for the final season. Collins Ancient Bear. Lord Garga has, some, has gone too far now. He has taken co the Collins Bear from the internet and the world will go upside down now. Which is a three-part mission. Um, the obvious, the oblivious ventriloquist. Why does Colonel Scott always forget about the furry? Our, sneaking he our sn sneaky hero will have to handle very suspicious behaviour from Cerebro and a ventriloquist monster. Uh, keep Scout standing... Win in eight turns. Interrupt boss charging skill. Defeat ten enemies. That's not too bad. Then there's this one, which is talk so no so. Colonel Squad is invited into an interview of the Rachel Lasers talk so. Everyone is very excited, but they have, but they have an even more um, ambitious idea. But is that how heroes act? Hit boss every turn. Defeat all minions. Defeat boss with final strike. Don't miss any attack. That's actually easy to relatively easy to do. Let's go talk so, no so. It was a day like any other at Colonel Products Incorporated until Scar came in with great news. Everyone, great news. Don't make such don't make such a spence, Scar. You know I get anxious. Do you know that famous talk show girl, Rachel Laser? We just received invitation to do an interview to be interviewed by her tonight. Whoa, that's awesome. I love her recipes. We'll be so famous. We shouldn't be thinking about fame. This can be an opportunity to defeat Lord Gaga. You're right, Tammy. I believe we can modify our audience booster to use her own signal strength. With that much fa fan power, we could close the portals to Lord Gargas to mention for good. So cool, I wonder if Rachel Laser will allow us to do it. Maybe we can sneak in earlier to install it? We won't need permission if no one's around. Rendezvous at Rachel Laser's filming studio. Use teleporter to get inside. But that's wrong, isn't it? Gunners could arise at TD Studio for some heroic breaking and entering. Just in time, no one around. Let's do it. Teleport out, pretend nothing happened. It feels so wrong, but it's for the greater good, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to go public with this. It could freak people out. When everything seemed to be going as planned, a very annoying sound was heard from the set. It was an odd and irritating, irritating sound, something repetitive and extremely happy but annoying. What is that sound? Maybe it's their alarm. It doesn't make it doesn't make much sound. This sound is, makes me ill. The sound seemed to be to vanish for a while, and suddenly, watch out! The, the curtain moved. 
And then, after the curtain had opened completely... Who are you? Were you the one making that awful sound? I thought you were all enjoying it. I can do it again again if you like. My name is Cute Dinosaur. I usually stunt, stunt colored dinosaurs. But exclusive tonight, the entertainment is you. Ugh. If we take too long, we're going to get caught. You're right, Furry. We need to dispatch this monster as quickly as possible. Hit the boss every turn, defeat all minions. Okay. So we need to basically power up right now. Hit the boss every turn, so that's going to be a range attack to straight out the bat. He's got that. So let's move here. Moving a straight. Ah, uh, okay, I messed it up. That's the same. Get here, please. Get him over here. So it's just a lizard in a... Okay. Good to know. We need to kill the big guy before he gets healed. Suit the frog. Right here. Okay. So
and you reach. I think what we'll do, go here. You can get the big guy, which is great. Okay, so you power up as well. Two of us done against him. So, how much health does he actually have? Doesn't matter, let's just take him. No, he's got still way too much for us to easily. Take out of a finisher. Let's block him in so he can't easily run away. Let's boost all our damage up. doing this dinos okay fine And finish him now. see me outside. I'll make sure to step on this building and smash your hopes of fame. Hurry to Titan. I'm with you. All is one. Okay. Don't miss any attacks. Which means that we just have to be really careful of our placement of our attacks. And always err on the side of Corson. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Final health bar. Need to increase that modifier as much as possible. Not quite enough. That should just about do it. Yeah, there we go. Later that day. Our hero is enjoying some victory cupcakes at the hot cook stand. Could have been worse. At least we punched one of Lord Gargar's monsters back where it came from. And we didn't do anything wrong. I was feeling bad about that. How long do you think they'll take to repair Rachel Laser Studio? Don't get all your hopes up. We're definitely not getting invited to there again. I guess we're the heroes they deserve, but not the ones they need right now. A lot of resources. New gear, love the new outfit. Well, I didn't, I don't mean to what's going to score the sword for hours. The finishing moves were very impressive for indie series. Have I mentioned that Kernel Squad is a great indie show and hugely inspiring? Okay, another fan message. A proposal. I'm the CEO of Knights of Pen and Cardboard, inspired by sorcerers of the East Coast. Dangers and Cardboards. Trademark. As the world's second secret society of cardboard box admirers, we are aware we are in awe of the master display of your Kernel Squad TV show. Would you be interested in becoming members of our cardboard cult? It's a lifetime fee of $32.00 and you get a shipment of assorted cardboard favours on your mailbox every three months for the rest of your lives. May your box never wet. All hail the card god. Price of $32. We're more into plastic. Let's go with that. On Oh, the blasphemy, the nerve! If you like this nonsense, take it. We don't need it not enough. If we lost three fans, that's fine. We've got a load of plastic. Which... Yeah, I guess is fine. Plastic you used to make that, yeah? No, what does plastic go into? What is plastic used for? Ah, there we go. So you get one of those. Okay. We do a quick shop trip to see if there's anything that will automatically boost us. Her stuff, that would be good for her. No one else really gets a bonus from it besides her to get a skill regen increase. That drops her strength. Was there anything that we were needing to pick up? Just trying to check, remember again, to remind myself. His health goes down. By a lot if we take that. Just saying because that's actually a really nice upgrade for him. Not worth it.
not really worth it. Okay. So, armor wise. No, okay. And the boots. Can't give it to him because it will basically get rid of his movement, which is the problem. I need to make a pair of boots that gives movement if I could. That'd be great. And that's nice. Dodge going down 10% sucks. It's, it's not really enough. Her attack going down, getting all those boosts going up. Mm hmm. Okay. I am going to grab this to get help her skill regen up. And she gets a little bit of health out of it. Okay, the rest of it though is going straight into crafting. Because we were quickly going to buy... We'll buy that and hope for some... Uh, I was hoping for basically... Buy more, just buy the this and hopefully get the materials we need. Nope. Okay, fine. Why is it so hard to actually get the materials you need for it in this game? Once again, I am defeated. Ah, oh, you kidding me? Okay, so we still can't make this because we don't have enough of that. Okay. Okay, so we have one of those. You can craft one of those. Can't do anything that, can't do anything that. You can craft one of those. Okay, so that's supplied. We could make basically one of these with random properties, that'd be very good. One of those helmets as, as well was, would be very cool. Weapon wise, off the hook would basically for scout. make that victory banner random property or we could go straight to our mech no we don't have we have that to get that up mech health that actually could be something we could get yeah so let's get him increased with that more health more repair functionality. With what we could craft, we could craft one of those or a helmet. Skill regen and random properties. What is everyone currently running about with? Attack, attack. I mean... Something better for him, maybe. It's going to be a mashup between getting one of these helmets. Yeah, getting one of these helmets or the armor. We could try and make the black matter. We don't have quite enough goop. We get some more plastic. Curses. Okay, let's try and... Is there anything here that has plastic? There's that here. Nope. Yeah, try for that. Okay. We can make one of these. Okay, so we can make one of these. Lost us all the goo for the helmet, unfortunately. So... 
Okay, now we don't have enough goo to make it. Is there anything we can recycle to get? Uh, not really. Okay. That's annoying. Marketing is still fine. That's still fine. Let's do another episode quickly. Because probably what we could do then is we'll probably try and make um, the legendary the Magnum. Which is, I believe, better than the pistol that she's running around with. If we can make... It's a nice pistol. I don't know. I mean... Sorry. I mean, just how good is it? Three random properties, weapon damage, critical damage, weapon called free, yeah, it might be good, I don't know. But we'll see what happens, we'll do a quick do another episode. Okay. Winning five rounds. Keep the scout scanning, winning eight turns. Interrupt the boss charging skill, defeat 10 enemies. Oblivious Ventriloquist. And we get a guest team member. Okay. Let's do this. Why does he always see that poor fairy? Let's do this. We've arrived as fast as we could to report what happened. Nothing. Don't worry. You can go back to the studio. Everything is just fine. Sorry. Uh, okay then. Hmm. Suddenly, a sarcastic laugh echoes around Cerebus' chamber. What is that? A Tengu? Probably using one of its ventriloquist abilities, the rascal. Aha, it's just you and me and the narrator now, Cerebro. Lord Gaga has cloned me and we are now the Tengu clan. We succeed where all other monsters have failed. Come on, crew, get inside, the fools are gone. You're done now, Sribo. I'm not afraid of you, Tengu. Your clones aren't even well done, look at them, they're awful. I bet they can't even throw those surikens properly. That is what happens when you use clones, they miss all the, they miss all the targets. I've seen this before. Not another word, Sribo. I knew it. What? You shouldn't be here. By the time I teleported back, the others were out for lunch already and forgot about me. But I knew something was up, and I had to act fast. I know I'm always start. I'm always stating the ob obvious. So this must be why they keep forgetting about me. But now I finally noticed something, but nobody else did. Well, if that's the case, they all need. All I need to do is silence you. Mwahaha. Be careful, furry. Keep Scout standing, win eight turns. Let's power up. Let's go. Free action. Our oh, defense is down, that's not great. We need to win in eight turns. If I could get... Pretty hurt. That's really straightforward. Furry. Just saw what happened through the security cameras. 
We're so sorry, are you okay? Where did the Tengu leader go? Well, I don't I didn't see it explode. I was using my ventriloquism ability on my clones. I'm wiser and stronger than you think, foolish humans. Why don't you come out come here then? I grant you your wish, Mike. Let's see if you can find me. Interrupt Tengu's charging skill, defeat 10 enemies. Okay. That's, his, that's the Tengu there. Okay. The rest of you... The rest of you do what you do best. Okay. He's charging his attack. No, you don't. Okay, we can finish him. We still need to beat my enemies, though. Their movement has absolutely been shredded, so we actually need to...
Okay. Can you get within range to do a finishing move? Yeah, we can. It depends on how far pink can run, though. Get here, please. Reaction. Excellent. All of you think Vanquilicism, oops. Well, that monster has been defeated. And I'm really glad to hear you say it, Fairy. We're embarrassed that we forgot about you. I, I brought you lunch, though. We care a lot about you, Fairy, but you are so sneaky. As soon as we noticed you weren't with us, we knew something was up. Do all of you really care that much for me? Thanks. Or is it another ventriloquism trick? Haha. I can't speak for everyone, but I guess this is enough ventriloquism for the day. I wish I could finish move a uh, finish move like that in my karate class. What's gonna score? Is too addicting, inspiring by Inferno Squad to make my own series. Wish I should. What should I name my dope sen Sentai group? Inferno Squad is too strong, is too super adorable. Okay. We are not alone. Dear manager of Kano Production Incorporated, your show has been a bright light during this dark night of government lies and misinformation. We are, you are fighting good fight, letting people know that there is a real threat out there. And we walk a walk amongst us controlling mainstream television and pop music. However, I could not help but notice a few missed details and misinterpretations in your fiction. I am a professional in these matters, and for a small sum I could consult for you and ensure that your next episode was hundred percent faithful to real extraterrestrial culture. So sure. Glad to do business with you. This is a very productive afternoon for Cunnabox Incorporated. I hope you have learned more about the nature of these aliens. As a parting gift, I have left a pile of oozing black filth hidden on your kitchen sink. It's 100% legit alien material. Don't let it go near any miniature black holes, okay? We got some black goo and we lost a little bit of money. So if we wanted to, we could not make that. Okay, I just want to see if this pistol's any good. To be honest, I have invested too much time and effort into getting this thing. Um, so how do we get this? Go that. Uh, uh, actually, it's what we needed, which is good. Um, so let's craft this blaster and see if it was worth all the effort. Nope. Nope, it was not. I mean, these things are nice. But, like, dropping her baseline attack down so much just sucks. Which is a pain, because this thing costs an absolute ton to make. And we hardly got any of the resources back. Fantastic. So, what was that that we lost? Yeah. Sort of just invested in making the helmet. Alas, my own folly. Anyway, we still got a bit of money floating about. And I do probably need to invest in getting some better, just straight up upgrades. Um, these are actually like really powerful. It's better to, in my experience, it's better to basically invest in these for the most part. Um, extra help for the mech. Yeah, 
extra ordnance gain from combat skills. Yeah, big time studio, we've got that. But these things are the real sort of core things we should really seem to be investing in. Like this one for more health. Uh, direct instructions. Drop rate increases to get more materials, that kind of thing, yeah. Well, that's for it, folks. I've been coming tonight. This has been Kernel Squad. Nice to see you again next time. Goodbye.